All right, what is going on guys? It is Munchie here and today I'm just doing a, sh a short little intro before I show you guys the exact gameplay that I'm going to be commentating over. Um, basically, I'm starting a new series on my channel called Inside the Mind of Munchie. Now, if you guys are real YouTube COD OGs and you know who x is, it's basically like sort of inspired from that sort of series where you basically like either go over old gameplay or like live com basically explaining your decision making throughout the entire um, gameplay. I did actually get requested this by, by about two separate people when I said that I had nothing, no video ideas for World War 2. They said why not do like an inside the mind of Munchie sort of thing. So I said you know what, that's not a bad idea at all. So here is the first episode. I don't know how good it's going to be. I don't know how it's going to turn out. Hopefully you guys do enjoy it. Um, just, just for future, if you guys are new around here, make sure to hit the sub button, hit the like button if you guys do enjoy the video. Turn on those notifications. I'll be doing this more depending on how it goes. Um, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the intro. Now, we're going to head straight into the gameplay. Peace, peace. Alright, so this is the gameplay that I've decided to go over. It is a first half V2 rocket. Now, I'm going to go ahead and straight hop straight into this. As you guys can see, I straight away shot the seats, check the scoreboard, and see that we're playing against Scrub. So, I know it's possible to get a first half V2 rocket. And straight off the break, I do get stunned. And as you can see, I go straight on over to this right-hand side, and I get absolute lag confucked, and I just can't believe it. However, I wasn't expecting that gunfight, because normally, you know, by the time all of that's happened, there's normally a guy right by the um, barn right here. But he was actually a bit late, so I didn't expect it, and I ended up dying. Poor decision making on my part. I should have went right on that corner and pre-aimed. Um, I could have possibly went on a longer streak or it could have even been quicker. But who knows. So, as you guys can see here, I'm pushing up into this back spawn. I take up two guys. I already know that they're going to spawn up at the back because the um, pillar spawns aren't being blocked. Um, no one's really blocking these spawns heavy. So, as you guys can see, I push around the back hand side. I get three people there. I don't know how that guy got there. But I ended up taking him up because he has no map awareness whatsoever. Um, I'm pretty precautious of these back spawns here because, as you guys can see, on the left hand side of the uh, map, the um, ball's being pushed up on that hand side. So, I know that that spawn's being blocked. However, my teammate does actually push up into that back spawn. So, I definitely know that they're going to be four spawn on this pillar side because that spawn is not being blocked heavy. Um, as you guys can see, I'm sort of just sticking mid map because I know they're either going to spawn right at the back or right on pillar side. And as you can see, they start rotating around. And as you can see, the back spawns become available for them to be able to spawn. And I'm just sitting there picking them off like basically using the element of surprise because they're not expecting somebody to be sitting there as you guys can see i've just ended up being like three or four kids i noticed that they also push in the um the pillar side as you can see the broken pillar side with the ball i let the ball you know as you guys can see i do take out that guy there i know that they're going to be spawning on this side as you guys can see on the map so i'm just sitting there picking off them as you guys can see I, um somebody's being pushed from mid he ends up actually getting taken out here i do know that the spawns are going to be split because there's nobody on that pillar side so as you guys just saw there um, a guy spawned at the back and a guy spawned on the left hand side and now they're sort of like all around me however i do know that a majority will either be wrapping around for the ball just to help the uh, help their teammates so i sort of do stick around um the left hand side area until i end up pushing back on this right hand side to push them back up into the same spawn trap as you guys can see pretty important movement i did actually pick up the ball and throw it directly at the back to attract a majority of the teammates towards the ball whilst i flank around this right hand side and pretty much just take out just use the element of surprise once again um, and get a lot of my kills. Um, it's real important using the element of surprise to your advantage. You know, I know these guys sort of do know that I'm just sort of lingering around this this area. But for the team, for the enemy team, for the basically the team that hasn't died yet, um, for the for those guys that haven't died yet, they don't know that I'm still around there. As you guys can see, I'm just around here beaming people off. I am aware that I am actually on a relentless middle now. So as you guys can see, I do back up a bit and play a bit more safe. However, that doesn't mean I'm completely losing control of this complete right-hand side. I know that none of my other teammates are on the side. They're all being pushed on the left-hand side. So I pretty much know that a majority of the enemy team will be pushing that left-hand side to stop the ball being pushed up that side. As you guys can see that I do get into a risky gunfight, I do end up winning it, I'm pretty confident in my shot at this time because I'm sourcing on these guys like absolute crazy. Um, as you guys can sort of see here, I'm just sticking around the mid map where a lot of people do generally run down. You can easily get easy picks on that side, I know majority of the team is on that broken pillar side because of the ball. The enemy team do end up scoring the ball which means that the enemy team will either be retreating back to the ball or just spawning up. Teammates pushing back spawn again so I know that there's going to be no enemies back here. I know that they're going to be spawning on the broken pillar side, as you guys can see to my right, um, when my teammate starts getting shot at. Um, pretty crazy. 
I sort of am aware that I am sort of low on ammo on my PPSH, so I do know that I'm going to have to get a few pistol kills, but I do also know now that they're going to be spawning at the back here, so I'm just patiently waiting, trying to get a kill. I do end up sadly running out of ammo, which could have been an easy, easy death. I could have been taking off my streak so easy. But because I've got no ammo in my pish and I'm stuck with a machine pistol, I am playing a lot more safer, sort of sticking to corners. Um, of this building and trying to just basically trying to bait this guy and as you guys can see I'm gonna push around this backhand side just basically bait him in I'm gonna push back around to mid just in case I can get like a real easy pick on somebody but I'm basically just baiting this guy and waiting for him to you know push up pretty important maneuver happens right here my teammates actually bring the ball around here and I instantly know that there's gonna be people chasing from the back from the mid and they're gonna have front pushes so as you guys can see I do get into a pretty sticky gunfight with this guy I end up taking him out ball gets passed to me I give this guy the absolute pistol wishes whippage for the V2 rocket. Pretty good. That's pretty much it for this gameplay. You know, a pretty pretty good analysis of it, I would say. I wouldn't say it's the best, but it's definitely up there. As I've already said, if you guys are new, sub, enjoy this, enjoy this like sort of like live com on basically my decision making. Um, let me know in the comment section down below. Down below, if I should do more like this, let me know as well. Um, but yeah, expect an episode two maybe in the next two three days, which should be pretty good. Um, if I can actually keep this going as a proper series going into BO4, hopefully I can. But if you guys did enjoy the video, hit the like button. If you guys are new, hit the sub button, turn on those notifications. And it's been your boy Munch and I'm out. Peace.